Now, if you're using the rule for the baseball variant that you have to pay for wild cards, there comes a time in the hand where the player must decide if making that payment is worthwhile. Let's take a look here. We've already had two wild cards come out face up, and the pot's already been matched twice. So whereas the pot was four after everybody anteed one, the pot has been matched twice and has grown to 16. Then another wild card comes off, and this player now must decide if he wants to put out the 16 chips to match the pot. That is a very good question, because if he does so, he will need to know if he has a good chance of winning the hand. Let's look at his hole cards. They happen to be a pair of sevens. If he buys this wild card, he'll be what's called rolled up in sevens, because he'll be starting the hand with three of a kind. In this case, you would definitely want to match the pot and buy this wild card because you have a good chance to win the hand. But let's say, hypothetically, instead of these whole cards, he had these. A seven and a four. So if he buys the pot, he can have a pair of sevens. Well, I guess that's okay, but what you need to think about is that this 7 and this 4 are of different suits, so it's unlikely that you'll be drawing to a flush, and they are a two-gap straight draw, so it's unlikely you'll be drawing to a straight. With two other wild cards already out there, and only five more possible, it is unlikely at this time that if you match the pot, you have an advantage of the hand. So you want to think carefully, and you may want to say, I go ahead and fold.